Uh, hi there, this is Miles with LightHarvestSolar.com. Uh, it's uh, February of 2018 and I just wanted to do a video about the lithium batteries uh, that I've been testing. Um, last year I mostly sold Relyon and they were good uh, but they were also really expensive and the price on these is coming down uh, really really fast. Um, I just got in these batteries right here, uh, Heroin um, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate. It's supposed to have 100 amp BMS uh, and I, is pretty impressive as it stands right now. It's really not that much different than the Relyons that I have had. So uh, the first thing I want to do is show you what this will do. Um, of course, this is my volts right here uh, that's 13.32 i've been using the battery today so it's uh, a little bit low this is a amp meter how many amps and, and really uh, the most important thing to me in general is the discharge rate that this is capable of because it makes it so i can sell less batteries if they will a single battery will put out about 1500 watts um, that's what I'm really looking for in a battery because that way you can run coffee pots, hair dryers, microwaves, um, induction cook stoves, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and flip this inverter on and we're going to see if uh, we can power up the um, hot water right here. So it's going to take a second. Okay, there we go. We can see that amperage went up. It's going to pull the voltage way down on this um, which is uh, typical 12.25 volts at 135 amps is exceptionally good uh, you can start to hear the water get hot and boil down there um, it was hot already so it's uh, it's going to take a less amount of time to boil this water but you can like i said you can hear it and 135 amps out of um, a battery is quite impressive uh, and that's what I'm looking for, like I said, about 1,500 watts. So my initial impressions on these uh, batteries here are, are really good. The price is quite literally half of what um, the Relyons were last year. So we're getting a, 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 you know, a battery that performs uh, similarly. In one year, the price has um, dropped in half. Now, I've also got these uh, Battleborn batteries right down here. Well, let's see, there's one right there uh, that I have not been quite so impressed with. Uh, it had a really intrusive BMS um, that would kick off. It didn't talk very well with my inverters. It would uh, turn the inverters off commonly. If I went, uh, it, it handled, it did really well in the capacity test um, below 100 amps much above uh, about 115 amps the, bat the battery management would kick in it's rated the battleborn is rated for 200 amp uh, for 30 seconds i had a lot of trouble getting even close to that before it would kick off so the, it was just the battery management system was on off on off so okay you can see the steam coming up out of this uh and like i said if, you, if i can run if i can boil water that's a gigantic deal to me um, the next thing you're going to sort of want to notice, and let me just show you that, that what, how good that water is doing right there. You can see it's boiling. The next thing you want to notice is that the battery voltage is still above 12.0, which is exceptional. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to turn that off, and you can see the battery voltage is going to bump back up super fast. Um, it's going to go back 13.1. It'll be up at like 13.2. Uh, pretty fast and that's totally disconnected from any input uh, the battery did that alone so as it stands right now I'm really really impressed with this um, this battery and uh, I'm gonna get some in and, and uh, probably sell a, a few of them and, and see how they do uh, anyway the price on these batteries is coming way down and um, that is a very good thing this battery right here uh, I couldn't get, it would take me six lead acid batteries, like golf cart batteries, or five, um, maybe four on a really good day to, to, do, to even come close to that discharge rate, and it wouldn't, don't, wouldn't do it for very long before it pulled the voltage down. Um, so it's really equal, you know, in, in a lot of ways this is equal to uh, four to six 
golf cart batteries or whatever you got. Um, in capacity, uh, it should be about 100 amp hours, which is closer to 200 amp hours of uh, lead acid if you only discharge it at a very low rate. The capacity of lead acid when you pull a lot of power out of them goes way, way, way down. So if you were trying to get 130 amps out of a lead acid battery, um, you're likely to have a capacity that's 50 amp hours or 30 amp hours or something like that. And, and the reality is, is it probably just would not do it. Uh, so you can see we're already back up to 13.2 volts. Super impressive. As it stands right now, I'm very happy with this uh, Heroin uh, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, thank you so much. Light Harvest Solar.